Hi everyone, my name is John and I thought I'd just do a quick video on a uh, common and, and pretty popular hitch out there, the B&W Companion uh, fifth wheel hitch. It's a hitch that I bought uh, just recently and I absolutely love, I, I love this hitch, really do, uh, especially with the, the puck mounting system that's made specifically for uh, uh, the Ram series trucks and uh, they make a version of this for Ford as well. And uh, I've been through a couple hitches uh, over my uh, uh, time period with uh, with RVs, and by far this, this is my favorite. It's well constructed, uh, easy to put together, easy to take apart. Uh, you know, much easier to kind of take in and out of the uh, the back of the truck than and than some of the hitches out there. So, uh, unfortunately, there is one major issue that I have with this hitch, and that is especially with my setup here which is uh, a Ram uh, 3500 Dually, a uh, pretty large um, uh, fifth wheel on the back. I've tried uh, steps that go over uh, the tires, the back end tires for uh, for the Dually to reach in for the, the back of the hitch lever. I've tried uh, crawling through the back, but there's, there's really not enough space. And uh, the big problem here, the hitch itself has a very small lever uh, to hitch and, and unhitch. So the only way that I've really been able to do this successfully is, is I bought a um, kind of a, a step ladder to, to crawl in and out of the back of the truck. Uh, to do uh, the hitching and the unhitching. It, it's a real pain in the ass, quite frankly. And uh, it's also carrying, uh, you know, an extra step ladder and, you know, finding a, a spot for it, which is usually in the back of the truck, which which I don't like doing as well. So what I did is I created a, a bar that will actually drastically uh, help the hitching and unhitching. And basically, I'm able to ditch my step ladder. So the, here's a, a picture of the bar completed, and it's very simple. It's just really a, a broom stick, more or less. Um, you can buy these, you know, anywhere, Home Depot or, or Home Hardware or whatnot. And it's got a notch on one side, and it's got a, a, a thin uh, metal hook on the other side. So the bar itself, what is what is important about the bar is make sure you get something that's a nice, good, hard wood not a, a soft pine type of thing. So I know there's uh, some dowels uh, out there I took a look at or, or clo um, uh, closet uh, dowels type of thing that were, were kind of softer wood. I definitely don't recommend them. The hook that I, I bought here, because it's important uh, to get the right style hook for, for two reasons. Number one, you want to be able to uh, get this little hook into uh, the, the latch that I'll, I'll show you here in a couple minutes. And, and also you want a really good sturdy hook. So I, I bought this four inch hook. It's actually from um, uh, kind of a curtain uh, hanging hardware type of thing. And this way I'm able to um, uh, pre-drill into the bar by about a good four inches so this way you don't crack it when you just try to screw this in and i'm able to screw the hook in um, you know a good three inches all the way down it gives it a really sturdy um, anchor uh, onto the actual bar and on the other side of the bar as you can see here i actually put a, a bit of a notch um, into the end this way it actually helps with uh, just kind of grabbing on to, to either the uh, the pin clasp or the actual uh, hitch bar itself and uh, to be able to open and close it, you know, much, much quicker and easier. So once again, here's the completed bar, notch on one side, hook on the other, and uh, let me show you a couple of videos here of it in action. So I created a little video recording of how this actually works. So you can see here, I just grab the, um, it, it is a, a little fiddly, I'll be honest, but with a pin, I can easily grab that clasp, grab a cotter pin, open up, the latch and um, get ready for actual hitching up. And uh, again, it's pretty fiddly, but that's why I put the uh, notch into the end of the stick as well. Here, after the trailer's actually hitched up, uh, again, it, it is a, a little fiddly, but I'm able to grab the, uh, the pin with the hook here once again. And just able to bring it back up, plop it into the hole there. Bring the pin clasp back down. Now, sometimes again, this is a little fiddly, so I've, I kind of use the um, other end of the stick or the, the notch into the stick just to make sure it's all uh, placed in there, nice and secure, and, and able to again double check the uh, uh, the bar on the actual hitch itself uh, to make sure everything's secure. But I was able to do all this outside of the truck. Yeah, you can see how a little fiddly it is here. It's a little bit of a pain. But 
But uh, again, I mean, that, that total time took me about 30, 40 seconds, much, much easier than, you know, bringing out a ladder and, and doing all that kind of stuff as well. So, and if, if B&W is actually watching this video, guys, I'd make a strong suggestion. It did make a great hitch. Um, the short bar, especially in the dually, is, is a royal pain. And it's, uh, it's something that I, I, you know, some products, you, you don't like certain things, but I actually hate this about this hitch. Everything else is perfect about it, really. So if you come up with maybe a better option, maybe a, uh, a metal stick with, with bigger or better clasps or, or a better pin system that's just kind of easier to, you know, to take things in or out. I would strongly recommend this doing for your uh, existing and, and future customers. I'll also, folks, the other thing I didn't uh, video about when unhitching, uh, it's actually, you know, just as easy as well. I did require two people, and again, I apologize I didn't um, uh, take this video, but uh, actually that arm is uh, spring-loaded, and I actually just had to get my wife to use a stick and just kind of hold uh, the bar open. Uh, or the arm of the hitch open just a little bit as I was unhitching. But again, didn't have to crawl into the back, didn't have to use a ladder, nothing. It was all done by this little stick. So hopefully it uh, gives you uh, help for the B&W owners or, or other hitch owners that have a similar setup. It's just kind of a, a neat little thing that uh, that works well for me.